one thing I guarantee today is going to be an interesting ride <laughs> which way that interesting is gonna point is unknown another one of those days where uh, got some baby goals don't get lost don't pop a tire and make it out safely only about a half mile in they got some type of closure. I hope that ain't closed. Let's see. That's all right. We got a service road going out this way for something, and then uh, Pink Canyon goes this way. So we are we are good to go. Yep, this is standing riding. You get some nice spots. They do not last long. All right, I gotta. Oh, I guess. Well, other than the huge ruts in the road, um, this particular section actually isn't too bad. The background is beautiful, guys. We got the mountains in front of us, Joshua Tree Rocks, and mountains beside us. If, if those are mountains, I guess Mount Ryan is there. And we are gonna get interesting out here. This will be a beautiful ride. This is definitely the uh, most remote and extreme ride that I have done on Draven getting out here in the desert now the you know you know, might be able to argue the Trans America Trail um, in Tennessee Virginia and such um, might have been a little more crazy at times but the mountains I am used to kind of my homeland and desert is new to me so I give extra points for the newness of the desert All right, good time for a little break. We got in some pretty thick sand, a little bit of uh, like fist size rocks. Give my uh, legs just a little break, get a drink of water and chill. Ride's been amazing. I mean, check out this freaking backdrop, man. Stunning. Nice little break, let's hit it. All right, jacket liner off. I'm feeling much better and we have found the start of the bouldering. This is loosey goosey. I'm gonna jump over here. Desert sand, some gravel, and good size boulders. Yeah, never know what to call those. Not really boulders, but like fist to head size rocks. that noise that was my foot hitting the rock thank goodness I ride with these darn heavy adventure boots we're getting farther into the backcountry of Joshua up against a few of the smaller mountains good lord they are gorgeous what a ride this has been amazing, great weather, it's been dry for a while, so probably won't run any, any desert mud. Oh, starting to get back into the canyon. <laughs> this sand is thick. This stuff is thick. 
And I may have gotten off road right there. Oof. Throwing me around like a rag doll. This view's getting better every corner, that is for sure. Except right now I really can't concentrate on the view too much. Try to keep my butt out of trouble. Oh, that might have been the route. So let's see if I can make it through. Oh, holy crap, guys. This is not where I'm supposed to be. Ooh. All right. This is about as thick as it gets. Wow. Felt the bike sink down there. Yep, yeah, we got a little off target into a wash uh, wow all right let's not do that again I will credit South Carolina Sand Hills for saving my ass right there all right remember the clearance on this bike is not bad also not great foot took another hit but all is good toes are pointed in knees are against the tank and uh, I've got a good solid boot on man with all this craziness though I will say it is a beautiful ride just uh, some of this stuff is right at the top of my comfort level skill level that's how you get get better I could turn around anytime this time I did the right thing and did not go through the wash I stayed on the road what a difference that makes all right so a little more controlled here the sand with the large boulders I just want to make sure that safety first oh my god how much fun is this we're gonna get in some trouble guys That was close. Oh, I think my mirror came loose. I haven't had that happen before. All right, that was a close one. It really wasn't the sand on that tight corner. It was the boulders in the middle. I feel comfortable kind of cutting across it. Close call, but we stayed up. A little work in doing so. Holy crap. This stuff is so, yeah, I can bury my entire foot in it. Gonna get a little bit to get going again. What I love about the Himalayan, the weight is so low in this um, that you can really save yourself if you do get into trouble. All right, let's not have that again. Let's see if we can get our way out of this, guys. I'm in some thick stuff. And we're gonna try to get stood up pretty fast here. Get that GoPro off. All right, see if we can stand up quick and get out of here. That wasn't so bad. Don't really like being in first gear with so much engine braking on this stuff, but. Whew, all right. That was too close for comfort. The 
this is going to be crazy soft. Oh yeah. Oh boy. I'm gonna try to come over here to less boulders. Wow, that shit was crazy. That was some soft stuff. South Carolina sand hills, you have nothing on that. Nope, and I'm gonna have to. Uh... Oh, I'm rolling. I'm in the wrong gear there. trying like a proper rider to keep my eyes down as far as I can. Oof, that was slickery. So I know that is the correct riding technique. Don't look down at the sand, but good lord, man. Oof, duh. Minnesota's coming out. Oofta. Wow. I can get to some level playing field. I will take a look at my map and see where we are in this battle zone. Damn, this is a workout. breathing like I just got done at the gym all right so here I just want to be controlled this is you see this here is deep deep soft sand around boulders I don't want to go down on a rock so well this is crazy beautiful Still got to drive through it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Don't really know exactly which way the road is here. I'd rather not. Oof, that almost got me go through another wash and I did exactly that not know which is the road and this looks like firm ground well firmish I don't think we're gonna hit any firm ground out here we are just going to take a little look at the map nope that said it was a neutral but it was not We're about halfway there. Holy smokes. The canyon obviously is ridiculously gorgeous. That's been some rough riding guys. That is thick, thick sand. Thick, thick gravel, I guess. Whatever the stuff is called out here. Oh my gosh.
this definitely makes it worth it. What a beautiful, beautiful area. <sighs> Catch my breath a little bit, take a rest. Good Lord. So in a classic John move, so when I took a water break, I turned off the bike, uh, but did not turn off, turn the ABS back off. I know there's a law that all bikes have to default the ABS back on, but man, I am the worst at this. So ABS is back off, thank goodness, and let's hit the road. Oh my gosh. Oh, sheesh. All right, this is, oh, crazy, crazy, crazy. In the words of a wise man, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, there's no reprieve. Oh my gosh. I knew what I was getting into today, but can a guy hope for a little more solid ground? Oh, that was close. Keep speed up. I ahead of you. I don't know which way to go, so I've just got to choose. I can't slow down. And I chose the wrong way. All right. Okay. Oop, that was in second. We're just gonna have to walk this guy down. Get around that boulder. A little more walking and we'll stand up. Ooh. 50 percent chance of which way to go would be correct and of course I picked the wrong one. out here I guess it makes sense I'm in a desert canyon but I want mine just one more solid piece of ground oh that was soft whoa whoa that's about as close as I would like to take it this is gonna be interesting Second gear almost got me in trouble there. I needed to slow down around those boulders, but able to accelerate out of the sand. Tractor factor for the win. I can tell you in this area, it's probably my skills limiting what the Himalayan can do. Come on, tell me I took the right path for once. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Oh boy, oof. Come on now. I think, I think I might have been on the right track. And that's a crazy ass track if that was the correct one. This man. As beautiful as Joshua Tree National Park is, and it is stunningly beautiful if you haven't been there, um, the backcountry of it is epic. All right, so here we got some boulders. Oof, duh, that was loose. I think 
I'm going to ship down to first. It may or may not have been a good decision, but it is my decision. This feels like riding a car through the ice in Minnesota. Oh, my, come on. Come on, keep your stance. It's all about the stance. And I guess throttle. <laughs> I like these long straight shots. No, not because I don't have to corner. Because um, I actually get to take extra time to admire that view, which is beautiful. Hoofda. That is about as close as you can get. Shifted my, <laughs> my weight far back, accelerated just a little bit. To be fair, part of that acceleration was a little bit of a whiskey throttle, but it worked out. This stuff, man, I can't even describe how thick this stuff is. This stuff is so thick comment below what I'm missing. I'll get something. Alright. Oh my gosh. Come pull out of this. Come on. Come on. in some deep shit right here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if we can get out of this here. out of it well I was getting there not this time though let's try that in one more time holy shit this is some shit Cow, this is pure craziness. Oh, and then I did something really dumb. Missed second gear. That could have cost me. Get ready for the boulders. Go right there. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Whew. You know, I probably should check my maps as well. Map checking would be a good idea. It's just not really something you get to do here very often. Almost bogged down there. 
Should have flipped it to first gear. This is gonna be crazy. Good governor. Whoa. Whew. Oh my. I've got into a rut. Okay. Anybody sitting at home thinking this doesn't look too bad, you either are an extreme advanced rider or you've never driven through this type of unbelievably thick sand. If you've done, blah, blah, let me try that again. Too much concentration on the road. If you've done Pink Ham Canyon, in Joshua Tree, let me know your thoughts. Like, I'm making it too tough. Wow, you did a good job. <laughs> oh, they almost looked like solid ground for me to check my map there. Gotcha. You just move your attention for a second, man. This place eats you up. What do we got going on here? This looks like first gear stuff to me. I don't know if you saw that, but I squeezed right between those two boulders. Fat man on a little cycle. Holy crap. Okay, I would really like to check my map. This is not the thickest. Let's see where the heck we are, shall we? A lot of places to go yet. And we got our first bouldering, which I stopped right in front of, which was brilliant. Uh, let's see how we're going to approach this. Looks like that is probably the safest right there. Let's see how this goes. Anybody behind me? I did not stop in a good area. See? That could have been crazy. All right, we gotta get going here, John. Yep, I did not stop in a good area. Okay, let's get this guy back up. We got it up. She started. That's on me, guys. Don't stop in a bad area to check your maps. Okay. 
got to try to get Stuart back up. There we go. Whew. All right. I'm going to sit here and breathe hard for a bit. Whew. What did we learn today? Never compromise position for checking a map. Holy smokes. there Hoof da Hoof da This is crazy I did it. I did a good sharp corner on sand. I've got to stop breathing so hard. <sighs> Can't see. I'm breathing too hard. All right. And I got to stop in a bad spot. Driving out of the sand pretty good. Whew. A little dab stepping is okay, right? There is got to be some flat ground ahead. And it looks like I might be finding some. And 
then again I could be wrong. Have I mentioned this is a workout? Holy smokes. seem that uh, we are leveling off in the canyon a little less steep same amount of sand but a little less steep which is nice smokes. Okay. Wow, that was very deep. Very impressed that these tires got me out of that easily. Whoof da. We're just going to stay comfortably in first gear. This is at least a foot deep when I put my foot down back there to dab step and try to get out my foot disappeared into the sand. It got me working. Oh man. Could have been a blooper's reel. I hadn't said it before, I'll say it now. There is no going back. Where's the road, rabbit? I guess that's it. Oh, this will wear you out. All right, I got some boulders to go. Lost the road, but I think it's right up there. Hoofta. Let's get this section done.
Hoofda. I almost welcome the boulders right now. Give me some traction. these boulders and then get back up Oof, duh. that which way is the road again last time I went right and I made a mistake let's see if this time if I can go left and it looks like I might have won Riding in this thick sand, I definitely prefer no shadows. But with the time of day, I don't know if there's much I can do about that. Alright, since we are officially, unofficially stopped, let me check my map. We are dead on, almost out of this beautiful canyon, and we might achieve the goals for today. We're still alive. Whew. Take a breath. I've been attempting to practice being standing before the clutch is all the way out in first gear. All right, I guess this way has a couple routes. This is quite the bump. Alright, stay out of the water ruts. Well, we aren't out yet. But thanks for joining my dumb self today. Going through the ride of my uh of my journey so far. Uh, 
I know I still haven't hit bouldering or Colorado or Utah. Maybe I should less talk and more driving. This is pretty powdery stuff. Wow, this is different. Very fine sand. As I was saying, <laughs> I know that I haven't hit any bouldering and such, but hey, this is really, really good practice. But I don't mind saying so myself for some of my longer trips, desert trips. Man, this is fine stuff. This is a new find for out here. little bit if it's this soft will take forever this is not near as thick but there we go back to some normal stuff that was just like powdered sugar got a marker I am on the right area which way are you going wait a minute we've got a little intersection here and I was in second gear maybe this is Take a look. That might be the end of the canyon. Look at my map here. Holy smokes. Whew. Wow. Wow. think I have cleared the canyon I do believe so this is uh, the BLM land road again holy smokes guys that was a crazy decision to do that alone um, definitely built some confident. I am I really really it may not have shown on the video uh, but uh, Feel confident getting much more confident in sand especially since all the riding in the sand hills I was able to save myself multiple times I dumped the bike because I'm an idiot and stopped and checked my map when I shouldn't have um, And got thrown around a lot, but that deep of sand where you put your foot down and your foot disappears I think you're just gonna get thrown around a lot Let's head back call it a day there was not enough spots to stop and drink water I was drinking water now and again um, but I am a thirsty guy so we're gonna head back to BLM head back to Eddie Vander and Missy that was asininely crazy thanks for coming along today in my first crazy off-road adventure there'll be more to come I made it 
Draven made it, no flat tires. This is our road. Don't forget to comment. There's got to be a comment for this video. I did something wrong. I did plenty wrong. Or what I did right, I'd like to hear. And uh, we'll see you on the next adventure, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell button. Come along. Trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate you guys. Keep adventuring. Have a great night.